Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Desperados 3. This this level takes place at Casa de Vit, so it could actually be the final one. I'm realizing I don't have any idea how many missions there are in this game, uh, but this sure seems like the kind of place where you might kill de Vit. I guess let's find out. And Frank, I guess. At, at some point we gotta kill Frank. There you are. Did you already brief the men for the evening? I expect everyone to be on their best behavior when the guests arrive. <sighs> Do me the courtesy and look at me when I speak to you. Yeah, I've just been thinking. Kind of tired of you, Vincent. Please, Frank. I really think you're too old for this kind of stuff. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'm too old to mingle with trash like you. Frank, don't just stand around, you buffoon. Come on, Frank. You think you got what it takes, Bill? Hmm? Didn't think so. Enjoy your party, Vincent. Enjoy it like there's no tomorrow. What now, sir? Nothing. We proceed as planned. I won't accept any further interruptions. And then he started a huge brush fire. You know, Frank actually cares enough about the employees to, like, know their names and stuff. That might make him the least evil person we've seen so far. <laughs> Even our player characters are kind of just, like, ruthless mass murderers. To some extent, I guess that's my fault. I mean, Hector and Cooper were definitely murderers without my help. Probably Doc, too. We don't really know anything about Isabel prior to, <laughs> prior to meeting her. And Kate definitely did full-on blow that guy away. No, it was all of them. It was all of them. Maybe not Isabel. Uh, may I help you, Miss O'Hara? I don't think anybody's watching us here. <laughs> uh, just trying to get in the mood. Oh, are you? I say you two make a fine couple. Maybe it's a bit much? It'll be fine. But we should get rid of those irons. They don't fit your new look, Mr. Cooper. Well, I'm afraid you got a point there, Marshal. <sighs> oh, now that's a side I could get used to. <laughs> All right, let's go through the plan. It's parties underway. Naturally, he's made himself the center of attention. You'll need to get in there, knock the bastard out, and, well, extract him from the premises. Remember, I want him alive, so don't be too rough on him. I also don't want any of the guests to be harmed. You got it? Drag him to the wagon and saddle up and get the hell out of there. David has two major events planned for this evening. At the front gardens, there's a firework show under preparation. You don't need to light up both stashes. Just pick one and light the fuse. And in the backyard, DeVitt's going to show off some new invention to the guests. Oh, uh, please let it be a new kind of Gatling gun. You're going to need a strong guy like Hector to start the generator before you flip the switch on the main thing. If you manage all of that, it should be enough to draw the guests away from DeVitt. Your friend should have arrived down at the shore by now. They'll make their own way in. That's about it. Show your invitations at the front gate, 
and enjoy the party. I'm going to head out in a bit. See you back at the meeting place. And good luck. Should we head in, Miss O'Hara? Someone's taking his role quite seriously, Mr. Cooper. Hey, I'm just following the plan. All right, let's do this. Okay, it's an interesting plan. Having us get two people inside. Uh, Cooper's not even carrying his knife? What is he thinking? All right. Uh, I think this is a cool setup. This is a cool setup for a mission. So. Oh, no, Cooper does have his knife. I just didn't actually have him selected before. Okay. So we can just have Cooper and Kate go in this way, and, like, in theory... Frank is really the only one who would be able to identify us, right? Like, even if even if we walk right in front of David, he's not going to know who we are. The only uh, the only thing we'd have to be worried about is um, On it. long line. Let's play nice. No, pretty much that, right? Like, even even guards from previous levels wouldn't be able to identify us because we killed them all. May I see your invitation? Easy as pie. How's it going? Thank you, sir. Have a pleasant Cooper just leaps in front of her in the line. That'll show her. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with them, but I reckon we ought to get them inside, and then we'll figure it out from there. The world. Yeah. Must be new. We fit right in. I say, I feel kind of naked without my holster. Maybe you should try it more often. What's wrong, darling? I like this one. Also, I like his I like his blue jacket. It's a good look. All right, and then down here we got the people who do all the work. Uh, so looks like the goal is Isabel comes over here and drops the ladder. You let down that ladder. Don't worry, big guy. I got you. Hold on. I'm gonna try to stop her mid climb. I mean, it is nice and dark over here. Belly of the beast, huh? There's no way he gets close enough to be a problem, right? Yeah. Uh, I can, but I have to carry Bianca. Oh, I see where this is going. Hector's here. That's some real good line delivery from Hector's voice actor. I think Hector has been a consistent delight. H Hector and Isabella are my favorite characters, for sure. This, this over here, this is team fun abilities. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to just drop this long coat, right? I mean, obviously we're going to kill a bunch of people. We don't have to. But <laughs> what fun would it be to not do so? Uh, does it make sense to link these two? Probably not, right? Who else is over here? So we got a long coat looking down this way. I think it should be easy enough to just kill the long coat. He's just gonna walk over here and we're gonna get him. Alright, this poncho will turn left and then... Oh no, sorry, not you. Okay. Mm, maybe that's not safe. Oh, no, no, we're cool. I don't know what we would want to do with her, but I don't see any reason not to do this. Okay, well, I guess just move into the bush. I was going to have him throw the body off a cliff, but apparently, apparently we can't quite have that happen. Uh, if we link her to the long coat and then jump the long coat, She'll go down even if we do a thing that's not immediately lethal to him, so I think that might be the plan. <laughs> this poor woman. <laughs> she immediately has more character than almost every guard we've ever fought. I'm gonna do something here. Let's catch the need for haircut. Not your lucky day. All right, I think that works out pretty well. Get over here, come on. Oh wait, there it is. It's so weird. If I don't know why it's so finicky about allowing you to jump off cliffs and throw people off cliffs. Like it feels like that should have been a really trivial thing to do, but for some reason. You have to be in exactly the right spot before it will even let you think about issuing the order, no matter where the order is. Like, it's not like you have to be in the spot where you can do it, as we saw in last episode with the, um... I can, but I have to carry Bianca. 
Hold on. Best line reading in the game. Um, as we saw last episode with the thing where we had to be on one of the building tops, not on one of the walkways, in order to tell Hector to jump off of the walkway down onto the ground. It's like really strange, really strange little issues that really should not be issues. On my way. I'm in the mood for some shopping. I like this plan. We're doing this thing again. Long route, clear view. I should probably actually oh, let him drop her. Sounds like you miss the old grump. <laughs> yeah, like hell. Okay. Now, I think we do. I think we want to do it just like we did last time. Unless the patrol routes don't line up exactly the same. But as long as we can get Isabel to actually throw the body over, it seems like a really solid way of dealing with the long coat. Look at that. Look at the timing. It's beautiful. Alright, so we do have to wait for her to come up and then go back down. This, this is probably not quite going to work the way I want it to. Because we're, we're one patrol cycle faster this time, I think, than we were last time. Hector's here. Let's light this up. I don't want to... don't want to destroy her too early. <laughs> time for the act. Let's do this. I live for this. This is nothing. I'm waiting here. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that went pretty smoothly. It looks like we don't have to interact with this guy at all, but you know, we still might. <laughs> What are video games about, if not interacting with things? I want to see David's face. Uh... Whatever it is that I did, I am sorry. Very funny. Hiding from me. Yeah, yeah. Immediately. Immediately the other woman's character is eroded by the fact that this woman is the same character. Okay, they're down. Yeah, I'm ready. That said, I'm not going to start feeling bad now. That would be a little silly. We're way, we're way past the point where it makes sense to feel bad about all the murders we've committed. Right, in the ocean with you. Let's entertain the guests. Okay. Um, so, I mean, these guys, it seems simple enough to just link them and then run up and stab one of them. Fancy place. Well, I guess we should have Hector up here so we can move the bodies at the same time. You get scared easy. Does she... Or does he see all the way down here at any point? Can't imagine the long coat does. I think we're probably okay. My only concern is that like when the when the poncho is walking up here, he might see far enough to be an issue. But it looks like maybe the rocks... I don't know, the rocks don't completely stop him. Nope, his vision cone never quite makes it. Okay, so real straightforward then. This is going to be good. Oh, wait, I don't think that that quite. You know what? Here's what we'll do. Time to go. I'll just have I'll have Hector. Well, I was gonna have Hector whistle, but I guess that's not gonna work, is it? Here's what we'll do instead. We'll have Hector move right up to here and then. Just fucking sprint over and chop that dude. There we go. Problem solved. Yeah, it's super weird that, like, I can't... Mousing here doesn't create the line to throw the guy all the time until you've created the line by mousing elsewhere, and then it, like... We, we were moving the cursor around in the bush before... But then once you get the game to understand what you're trying to do, it seems like it's easier to get it to repeat. I don't know, there's some real... There are some real issues with that. Alright, I am I feel like I want to just clear the beach, right? This, this gives us a safe place to retreat to if things go horribly, horribly awry. So, I think the hard part of this is going to be making sure we can take care of the long coat. He's got real good vision. Oh, 
footprints. Shoot. Bianca's a fine lady too. Okay. Maybe this maybe this linking thing isn't really gonna be the way it goes. It, tur it turns out he just kinda gave himself up for no reason. Ah, oh, shoot. Just... Just an instant too slow. That said, I think we might... We might be alright here. Oh, I set off an alarm up here. I've made something more complicated in this area. Actually, no, it doesn't look like they actually called the guards out. Maybe you only... Maybe you only call guards out of the area where the actual incident occurred, even if people in other guard, other alarm regions hear what happened. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Works for me. Clumsy but functional. I can put that on my business cards. Alright, so what's this guy's vision? All right, we can get we can get up to here safely, and then we'll just we'll figure it out. All right, so Hector needs to crank the generator, and then that thing. And we don't need to do the fireworks display, right? It's either one of these two. Uh, maybe both. Okay, we can do that. Don't kill civilians, man. Listen, I'm gonna try. No promises, though. That's what I'm talking about. It does not make sense for her to be friendly with Doc. I get, I get the character beat they're going for, but it doesn't. Doc's characterization doesn't make that work. All right, well, it's easy enough to sneak deeper in. Gotta watch this guy. I'm assuming when he's not actually mid-conversation, his vision cone does sweep over here. Yeah. She could probably just sprint... Eh, maybe. Maybe she could just sprint that far. Let's see, we could go as far as this before having to worry about it. Hold on, that patroller's coming back. It was like a... Th the most incorrect moment to attempt the thing. Actually, never mind, there's a million patrollers coming back. Also, that guy. This dude right here is a real issue. This this light that he is projecting would be real cool if he wasn't, in fact, projecting. Uh, is there a... No, there is not a normal guard anywhere around here. Because we can't lure this guy with the whistle, but we if we could link him to somebody, who we could lure with the whistle? We get a kill that way? Although, I guess not really. Because if we did that, um, everybody would react. So we don't have to make it very far to get out of that guy's vision. Well, this is going to be tough. Alright, maybe we got to take her up here. Yeah, that's probably the case. You got to take her up here, climb this, and start, start cutting down the number of guards we are dealing with on the upper level. Let's get up here because this will be pretty sa a pretty safe place. For us to make decisions from. So we can get all the way up to this upper, upper, upper level. I'm not 100% sure what the utility of that is. Let's just get a ladder down. But, like, why would we want to be up here? It doesn't look like these guards are looking down. Yeah, they can't see anything we care about. What about this guy? No. Hmm. Okay, well... A thing to worry about for later, I suppose. Alright, so for right now, obviously this poncho is pretty easy to take out when he steps back over here. I think we're going to wait on that. That'll take a little bit of the patrolling pressure off of this area. Hopefully he will not be visible to this poncho when he's in his... Oh no, he totally is going to be. That said... Kill animation's pretty fast. I'm gonna try it. As soon as those guys aren't looking directly at him. Uh, I guess 
I guess they weren't really an issue. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't matter. So, when he comes back, we'll go for it. The kill animation is so fast, we might actually be able to execute it during the swing away of this guy's vision. And then we can... Um, we can stealth walk the body away. Not that we need to. I'll take care of it. Yeah. Oh right, I forgot she doesn't I forgot she doesn't stealth walk the bodies. She does put the body down really quickly though, way faster than everybody else does. That's awesome. We don't need to move the body. I'm just not gonna worry about it, I guess. So now that we've done that. Are you visible to that? You are visible to that guy. Well, we could do a mind control. We haven't done a lot of mind controls because it feels a little, maybe even a little too powerful, but I think it might be the move. So if we mind control the long coat, I don't know that that necessarily gets us anywhere. Trying to think here. What we want to do is mind control the long coat, link two other people, and then have the long coat like shoot one of them. I think, and that way he can he can be responsible for two deaths. Let let me try something. Because the enemies don't um. The enemies don't alert on bodies that were killed by mind controlled people in the same way that they do on bodies that you killed. So I'm kind of curious if we can, um. Kind of curious if we can use the long coat to drop these two guys. I probably, if I want to, if I'm going to do this, I probably want to do it from the roof, right? Because she's going to be. She's going to be stuck in place. I'm real curious what's going to happen here. Wait, she... she not going to do it? Or... She doesn't... Oh, I see. He is immune to mind control on account of his... The psionic training that goes along with receiving a coat that is longer than some other coats. Hmm. All right, you know what? Maybe. Boy, that that's that's a complicating factor. Not not what I was expecting. Okay, how about this? No how about we link this long coat and this guy? Mind control the poncho, which I can do from over here in the shade. Or even from the bush, actually. That's probably the smarter move. Oh, we're close. We're cool. We're cool to just approach. Okay. And have this guy shoot the gunman. He himself will get killed, but it'll stagger the long coat, and I can have Isabel try to rush up there and get him before he, uh, before he recovers from the stagger. It's going to be real sloppy no matter how we do it. Can he not even attempt that shot? Okay, you had to get over here. Wait, I thought I thought maybe he would get that done. Hold on, there's got to be a way we can. What if I what if I link the long coat? And this guy, that leaves that guy alive, which is a shame. If I walk this guy over to here, he'll still be visible while attempting the shot, right? Because he's carrying light. But maybe we can get him in one of the spots that's blocked by the, uh, the post here. Okay. I'm not gonna be able to. If I if I had run right away, maybe. 
Oh, well, he just got knocked out. They, did, they didn't shoot him the way they often shoot him. Yeah, darn it. Oh, we did damage to the guy while he was inside the building. That's actually, uh... That's a... Oh, boy. Hector didn't move quite fast enough. Ah, that's... Yeah, that's gonna... That's gonna create an untenable solution. Uh, in damaging the guy while he's inside the building has some serious upsides in that his uh, injured state doesn't alert any other guards. And some serious downsides, and then it means I can't run over there and murder him. This is gonna hurt. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something a little bit more aggressive here. Place this guy very carefully. Shoot this guy. Shoot him. Give me control. Give me control. Ah, no, it's not even close to fast enough. Shoot. Even if I have her sprint, it takes so long to get control of her back after you do it that... Hmm. You know, one thing I'm realizing I don't actually know about the way the mind control works is... If I have one guy shoot another guy in a way that causes the um, the temporary knockout, will that will that stagger a long coat? Also, I wish the I wish those bells didn't do anything when you clicked on them. It's the fact that it's the fact that it is possible to click on that bell and pop up a thing that blocks my vision a ton and also doesn't help us in any way uh, really sucks. I'm gonna step all the way over to here. There. Where's this guy's vision? This guy's vision end. Bastard. Okay, so right here, we should be safe from everybody. I'm gonna wait for the patrol to turn around. All right. Let's see what this does to the long coat. Oh, that works. That works. They had somebody else shoot him. Oh my god, get off my screen. Uh, we might have just barely been able to make that. It would have been real real tight, though. I wish I could turn off the display of the damn bell pop-up there. That doesn't, that doesn't need to exist. There's a button for that. Just target of opportunity real quick here. Ah, shoot. Nice. Hmm. He's going to come out here and see that body. I'm a, I'm a little concerned. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> it's remarkably unobservant. No problem. Just a little. Okay, so it didn't go 100% the way I was intending, but it's honestly still pretty okay. So how do we want to deal with these guys? Now that there's a f smaller number of enemies left, we could bring Hector up and have Hector and... Um, wait, did that guy die with his light on? He did. Hmm. We could have Hector and Isabel just hit the patrol... And that'll stagger the long coat, and then we can um, we have Isabel run up there and try to kill him real fast. But in order to do that, I would have to divert the long coat's attention first, I guess. Hmm, maybe that's not the move. We don't actually have to kill this long coat, I suppose. I was thinking control over this area would make us a lot safer, but he can't actually see the generator or anything particularly near the generator. So now that 
Now that this light is gone, maybe we just call that good enough? Oh, also, I should remember to have her heal herself. Yeah, like, we had to we had to do a thing to get rid of this light. But maybe, maybe we call it good there. Can I hide in these hedges? I can. I'm just trying to get over to him quickly before the patrol comes back. Wayne said you'd have to crank up the generator. Hmm. Leave it to me. Okay, that's what I just said. I'm glad to hear that you're listening to me, though. All right, so we got a number of patrollers walking around. We got this gunman who's gonna be probably pretty easy to draw off with a whistle, since he's the only, the only non-poncho, non-long coat in the area. I don't know where we would draw him to. And then we also got this long coat up here. And this whole area is a goddamn nightmare. Okay. Um, maybe we want to start with these ones. And then we, we will have this area to draw people over to. Yeah, that might make sense. Because, like... Trying to, unra trying to unravel this thing right here seems very difficult. The amazing incandescent lamp. You know, it, on, at man. some time, probably almost every single thing we take for uh, we take for granted was pretty amazing. Like, for example, everything about the <laughs> the process by which I am recording these videos and then you are watching them. Totally unthinkable. Really Not even that long ago. Like, at, at points during my actual life. Alright, let's figure this out. I don't know I don't know what form figuring this out is going to take, but let's start by getting in these bushes. Oh, I'm ready for anything. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we, can, we can do this. We got plenty of time. Real close now. God, she's fast. Okay. So, this civilian can't see far enough to be a problem. Oh, no, she can totally, in fact, see far enough to be a problem. He says not, not to kill the civilians. Yeah, okay. You can still knock him out and tie him up. That's what I, that's what I figured. That's going to be... Probably not too hard. If this... Gunwoman. Oh no, never mind. She can be seen by absolutely everyone, absolutely everywhere. This might be a thing where it's helpful to have Cooper and Kate come through the building, and then they could they could provide a little bit of distraction to some of the people up here. Uh, let's let's do that. Oh my God, we're so far away. I'm not a hundred percent sure that we can get all the way through the building like that. Long line. Let's play nice. Marshall and then I think I think we might we have to still set off the fireworks too. That's a bridge we'll burn when we come to it. We were here first. Don't worry about me. It does feel like the fact that they were here first should have some yeah. effect. Unless the implication is that none of these people were invited, but is that how Maybe this is that how an inv uh Soiree like this works? I wouldn't think so. Should we go in, mingle with the fancy folk? Come on, Cooper. Let's not forget why we're here. First the distractions, then Devit. Oh. Oh, we could push over a big statue. Oh, I want to do that very badly. Okay. So I mean, we're gonna be allowed to move through this whole area, right? Maybe. Hold on, I can't see inside the building, but I, I guess that's not how buildings in this game work. Yeah, we can just do this. Right. I think. We better keep our heads down here. Yeah, this is all public party area. And there's Mr. David himself. Should we introduce ourselves to the host? Let's not get too cocky. Does this guy seriously freak out about people coming through from the front part of the party to the back part of the party? That seems real strange, right? Now, here, here is where I could see it maybe getting a little weird. But no, I mean, there's still people around. Those guys might be staff, though. No, we're allowed out here. 
Please don't. <laughs> Please don't leap over the railing. Alright, I was going to see if we could do this with just uh, Hector and Isabel, because again, badges, you know how it is. But I am starting to think that that is maybe not, uh, maybe not going to be possible. I don't know for sure that we're going to use Cooper and Kate, but we have Cooper and Kate available now. said we need Hector for the generator. So how would we deal with this? In particular, I'm thinking Kate, um, well, this guy's this guy's not going to be able, be able to be turned, but we could at least throw perfume at him, right? Uh, and we might need to. This this vision cone's a real problem. And this like this gunwoman prevents us from unraveling the situation from this side. We could maybe do civilians respond to the whistle. Because we might be able to, um... Let me try something here. Might be able to pull her over here and just quietly knock her out over here where nobody's looking. Let's go. Uh, it's not going to work because that long coat patrolling is going to be looking right at that area. He's going to turn any second. If we go for it, he's going to turn the instant we go for it. Sorry, lady. He really let her have it, too. That was not gentle. Okay, well... <laughs> don't don't feel great about that, necessarily. I like it. Now, it's possible we could pull the same thing on this lady. It kind of depends on... Oh, she doesn't even look around. She just goes back to her patrol. Okay. Yeah, so... Obviously, we'd be safer if we moved this woman into a bush. I'm not sure how feasible that's going to be. I guess it looks like nobody looks over here. We might be able to have Hector pick her up and, and run her over to here as long as we're watching that patrol and that patrol. And I guess this guy. I'm not sure I understand myself, really. This looks like we're about to have an opening. Okay, cool. <laughs> she just sinks eternally into the earth. Let's pretend we didn't see that part happen. Okay, now that I've done that, now that we've gotten her out of the way, we can do the same thing with the patroller over here. Potentially, again, it's going to be somewhat dependent on the way things time out. Get all the way in the bush, please. She has to stay over there for quite some time, the way I timed this. Not ideal. Oh gosh, I think she's about to move into the bush. Yeah. And this is a problem too. Oh no, she's still in the bush. She started walking back to her patrol path while she was still inside the bush, so she was able to see. Despite the fact that, you know, in terms of the physics of photons moving around in that area. It doesn't really make any sense. Yeah, um, okay. So I gotta be a little bit more patient. There's a there's a way that this works that we could just do with her exactly the same thing we did with the civilian. But it's gonna rely on the patroller, the patrolling long coats being in different positions. So we will just be patient for a moment. Let's see how things look when she returns. Once she's down, that gives us a little bit more control over a bunch of this, a bunch of this area. Looks like this guy gets easier to deal with, although we still have this problem. But I mean, again, whistles. Okay, this looks, this looks more promising. Yeah, I'm ready. Time to make some noise. Yeah, I got it. Hombre. It's going to take her just long enough to... Yep, it sure is. Ah, yep. I knew that wasn't going to work, but I just... It was then or never, right? Because the... 
the patrolling long coat was about to turn again. So yeah, the, the thing we did with the other woman is 100% reproducible, but we might have to wait a really long time for it to, uh, for it to line up correctly. We got kind of lucky, I think, with the civilian. The civilian did stay over here for what felt like a lot longer than this woman did, to be fair. This is going to be a better cycle, because this guy will have just passed. I'll use my singing voice. And in fact, we could even hit him with the whistle a little bit, and it's not going to matter. Because he'll turn around and then just turn right back. There we go. And then again, I'd love to move this body, but we don't really have to. What's this got to do with the glass thing? So you wind up the generator, and then you pull the switch. If you don't... If we wait until this guy turns around... I know, that this guy's going to be on his way in, so... We'd have to wait for them to pass. And we got to make sure this poncho's not in a position where he will see us. I think this is actually an opportunity, though. Right? I don't wait. This guy's vision cone is up for some reason. Despite the fact that his animation does not suggest that it should be. And we, we can't take her over here, because we will get... Well, maybe. Oh yeah, we'll get seen by this guy. I might be able to move her in whilst, while this guy's vision is turned left. That might work. See, sometimes this guy's just looking down at the light, and sometimes he's just staring past the light for no reason. And it would be hard to tell the difference if you didn't have a pin in the map right there. Alright. I'm gonna try it when this guy passes. Oh, okay. There it is. Okay, excellent. So now... Now we have this. You are very focused on what you're doing. You are very focused on what you're doing, but this gunwoman has some vision. It's like there's a dead spot here, right? Where neither that guy nor the woman can see because of the stuff. So I think the, the move is like trap and whistle here. Can I... here. I think this, it's silly, but I think this might actually work. I like it. Even though this, this is like right out in the open, I think it's just, just in enough blind spots. And then leave the body there on this one. There's no, there is no way we move that guy to a safe spot. So we're just going to have to avoid moving anybody over there. So let's see. This makes it easy enough to sneak down past this guy, and then once... If we have control of this area, we can whistle this guy down to here, I think, totally safely. Oh, right, we'd have to get him down past the edge of that Poncho's vision cone, but I actually like that a lot. Let's, light this up. let's try to clean that area up. Give me another, another ground on which to stage a murder. Okay. <laughs> That's a real goofy thing to do. This should maybe be an Isabel job, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna reverse course here, because Isabel can get up and down. Come on, amigo. Hector Hector gets trapped in that area quite easily, I think. I could do this all day. <laughs> this is gonna be good. And Isabel could even make it a little bit fancier with her uh her ability to link this guy to somebody else. So for right now, I'm just going to have her hide down here. I'm going to put Hector in the bush, just in case. Okay, this is the new situation. Alright, what's up with this guy? I can actually just be, like, right here. Oh no, really? Ugh. I thought for sure we were safe there. All right, well. Oh, interesting. Cave connects all the way over to 
Where the hell? Wait, where does that where does that go? Come on, I've lost lost sight of the cave. There it is. I don't even see an entrance over here. What the hell was that linking to? It's possible that this needs to be signaled in a way that is more effective. I'm trying to get okay. It's a cave that's all the way over here, I guess? It's this. Okay. I did not even see that. Well, that would have been a good way for Hector and Isabel to get across the area. Okay. All right. All right, here's what we're going to have Isabel do. I'm going to kill the two guys who have lights over here. So we're going to come up behind this guy a little bit. And then I think we should be able to get close enough to this guy to catch him with a dart as well. There we go. Now unfortunately, we're not actually very well timed here. I think we're going to have to wait for this guy to finish his patrol. Like He's going to have to go up and then come all the way back down before it makes sense to do this. It's possible that I could, like, distract him with the cat while he's right here, get the kills, and then run up and stab him before he finishes turning around, but it is definitely not worth the extra difficulty. Just wait. As soon as he is... As soon as he's facing this way, I think we should be cool to go. And make sure he's not going to see his friend up there. All right. Alright, and now just full on sprint at this dude. He will not know what hit him. I thought for sure that this light was on the dude. It seems like it's probably not going to be a big deal, but I will feel safer if there's not a corpse just sitting in a, uh, in a pool of light over there. Alright, you may as well do this then. Okay, so now we have this area over here, and I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move Hector down here now. Hector can whistle this gunman down here after we clear the body out. That is, and I guess as long as we're waiting for all this to resolve, you may as well give Neptune his due once more. What's the plan? Oh, she's apparently not interested in doing the thing. She's, she's trying. She's trying to move to the place. Easy, she says. There we go. Okay. So... I mean, I guess it's not a big deal for the whistle to hit the poncho, because it's not like he's going to... He's not going to come down. Yeah, this is fine. He will have lost interest in the direction of this whistle long before the other dude actually steps into the trap. Keep your eyes peeled. You got it, amigo. There. All right, this guy also goes in the ocean. It's like an infinite body box. Okay, so how watched is this poncho? This guy's probably going to be able to see him when he uh, when he patrols back over. But honestly, he's standing in the dark. Maybe um, he might be in line division at most. And if that's the case, then I could dart him. We could kill him from down here. Basically, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out a way of doing this without involving Kate and Cooper. Because again. What if badge? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's see if we can figure this out. So, we could whistle one of these two off. Maybe. 
Honestly, the it would have been easiest to deal with that last guy. If we were to, if, you don't, if we were to whistle one of these two off, we just whistle him over to here, right? Let's get Hector back up here and see. Now that he's finished throwing that guy in the ocean, let's get Hector back up here and see what we can accomplish. It's possible that we just won't be able to draw them off with a whistle because they're, you know, very well. They're very occupied right now. They're doing a thing they find interesting, more interesting than a noise in a bush. We'll see. So ideally, it would be him this way. and it would be to like over here right let's try to set that up let's see if let's see if that can actually work yeah hector can definitely whistle and just get him now the timing on this is going to be a little bit tricky because he's got to walk over and then step on the trap while this long coat is looking is starting to walk away i need to I'll use my singing voice so we want to go like as soon as it okay like now oh no they get distracted together oh right there's a body over there i forgot about the body that I left in that corner because it's hard to move it places. Uh, you can't just put the trap down on top of a dead body. Uh, can I... I mean, this wall's... Maybe I can throw the body over a wall? We can certainly try. This is nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can handle hmm. this. Well... What's this got to do with this guy's vision is the only problem with the body. And unfortunately, it is not we do not have access to anybody who can move bodies while crouched. I'm going to try to just do this. <laughs> this might be a bad idea, but I'm going to try to just squeeze through this guy's vision cone. Okay, put it down. Pick it up. Run a little bit, put it down. This is kind of hard to do because of the camera angle and the way all the walls are designed. I'm going to let his uh, let his green reset. Just let the yellow deplete all the way. Okay. <laughs> Feels like this shouldn't work, but it is, it is doing the thing. And I mean, we could probably leave it right here. But now that I've gotten it this far, I kind of want to get it the rest of the way. That's maybe not like a reasonable desire, but it's, it is how I feel. Over there. All right. Easy. Fortunately, uh, this guy is dumber than holy hell. Mm, I see. You know, I'm sure I, I'm sure I saw something eight different times, but I definitely don't think I need to go down there and investigate. <laughs> Now, the fact that these two come and investigate together is not ideal. What's this yeah, because the patroller's over there. It's just the long coat that can see this far, but he is potentially an issue. Obviously, we could potentially just stab the gunwoman as the, as the dying is transpiring. Let me just play with it a little bit. I think we're in a pretty favorable. Oh no, the guy who the guy who actually got whistled didn't walk to the position that I whistled from. It was the woman who was walking into the trap. So apparently we're gonna have to be a little more cautious about this. Maybe neither one of them is going to walk into the trap for some reason? That really shouldn't be happening. Huh. Okay. Well, that does complicate things. We might be able to execute one of these. Ah, just a little bit too slow. And also the, uh, 
the long coat up there turns around in time. Okay, to be clear, Hector is sitting on top of the trap. Sure thing, amigo. Okay, we whistle directly on top of the trap. Yeah, they just don't walk onto it. That's a real problem. That said, this might work. They're in a position that's like slightly more conducive to the double. Come on, hit the ground, hit the ground, hit the ground. Yeah. All right. Sorry, Bianca. Didn't mean to get you uh, get you all dressed out, make you think I was going to take you somewhere nice, but. That's super weird that, that that neither one of them actually stepped on the trap, even though that was where I whistled. That is contrary to our understanding of how that ability works. I see. Okay. So now we've got... I mean, we should... Sorry, I should move these bodies. The whole point of this was that I was creating a place where we could move people. Okay. So now this whole area is real clean and we can we can drag attention over here in a variety of ways without having to worry about things. So let's discuss how exactly we're going to do that. Now one thing I did notice there that I didn't realize was possible is that we did actually get the poncho to move a little bit because distraction is more powerful when it's carried over the link. He would never have moved even an inch out of his position for Hector's whistle if I just whistled him. But whistling someone who's more incredulous causes a little bit more of an effect, and I'm wondering if we can make use of that. Another thing we could do here is we can actually shoot a considerable number of the remaining enemies with, uh, with a single shotgun blast. So if we're smart about this and we, we link, I'm wondering if we could incapacitate everybody? without making a noise that would be perceived by anybody up here. Although, this guy's still a problem. Ah, oh, boy. Yeah, that guy is a problem. How are we going to deal with that? In theory, I guess I don't know. Where's the crank? Is this guy on the side I'd have to crank this from? It's possible that Hector could just interact with this. Oh no, he has to be there. Okay. Interesting. I was saying, if we could interact with it from right here, I could just ignore that guy. We could just... Well, shoot. Oh no, wait, this is the generator. I'm doing this the wrong way. That's the thing we gotta crank. And then we have to press a button on this, presumably, but I think I might be able to have Hector just go and crank the generator now. Potentially. I mean, now meaning a time when there's not a light source over top of him. Let's see what happens. I'm assuming that when I go for this, he'll go in to stand up. So, I make sure that there's not somebody looking directly at the thing. Let's light this up. Ooh, that's right. real slow. Happening. Can I cancel? Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled. Something's happening. Try the switch. Oh, does it have to be making a move? Too slow. Okay. We have to do it simultaneously. It's not like he cranks it and it builds up and the energy just sits in a capacitor or something. I have to press the button while he's cranking it. Okay. That doesn't really add any difficulty since we cleared this area out and everything. The primary problem is still how do we clear the area around this thing. But now we at least understand it a little bit better. You know, I think this bears a little bit of consideration. So why don't we call it here for today? I think this has been a pretty successful opening phase of the infiltration. And when you come back next time, tomorrow, we are going to figure out how to make a, a great big distraction, even if it means employing a little bit more gunpowder than is maybe strictly safe. And we'll see you then.